Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a construction review, and this one's on a uh, three out of six of the uh, Les Chima filled with figure sets from 2013, of course. So on the front of the bags, which are, of course, same deal as we had with Hero Factory Breakout, Brain Attack, and Invasion from Below. But and it also used with the uh, second wave of Chima available figures, which were exclusive only to uh, Europe and all, but these of which worldwide, of course. And of course, have the Lego lens the Chima logo and also the uh, mini fig uh, versions in the corner, like all the system sets to have. You can see a picture of the sets that they're in with a the, uh, blue glow around them, which Although the other three, of which also had a red glow around them, of which to indicate good and evil, of course. Oh, and of course had the uh, age recommendation and set number, amount of pieces, and down below uh, the names with cheat in them, of course. And then flip to the backs of each bag, of course. Have a have the set again in a relaxed position, actual size of the headpiece, and also a little comic strip of the, their minifig for of their minifig versions, getting their chi power ups, of course, and also the combination models that they make. But oh, what's kind of interesting is that they combine, but the combination models are different for each of them. Kind of odd for that, but whatever. And that's about it with the banks. Now to each instruction manual, which same pictures as on the front of each bag, of course. So then on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then add of Lego Club. Add for the summer 2013 uh, Hero Factory Brain Attack Wave 2 sets. And then advertisement for or I mean clashing battle of uh, Laval and Gregor and a uh, code used for online gaming of course the advertisement for some for both the main figures and for some of the system sets that there were at the time then advertisement of all the sets together or all the figures together of course and then the combination model and comic strip again and the pieces that come with the set and the last step. First half is Laval, of course, or G Laval, of course. And of course, for, for first glance, these figures good step up from the DC Marvel figures from the uh, prior year, but also this, which only time we've ever had a uh, construction build of figure sets, but related to an original Lego theme. Yeah, of course, and although. Maybe by now can do the same with Njaco, just saying. But also, as for in the case of Laval and Kreger here, of which only two that were also reused in the uh, 2014 uh, wave, of course, but in their Fire Chi forms. But yeah. So, as for the. Uh, like parts of which, as you can see, 
that the foot kind of pieces. Same regular old uh, Hero Factory foot pieces in gold. It's kind of like as we saw with Raka and whatnot. And also like with Raka, the uh, shell pieces in gold. And then kind of the usual stuff going on with the uh, friction joints, obviously. And as for the upper chest plate piece, which of course the usual chest plate piece, but in gold. And I think this might have been the first time we gotten it in gold color, but please correct me in the comments. But yeah. But as for this chest plate piece, which as you can see, kind of the same as all the figure set like we got in a lot of CCBS sets, but instead, but does have a, a cheap powering uh, power up going in there and be flowing through it, of course. But as for the head piece of which, uh, done quite well. Like the sculpting of which quite well, and like the crown part, nice gold finish to it, and also uh, nice to see some blue going for the eyes, of course. But although in for the version that was released in the uh, Fire Chi line that there was, uh, which did have translucent red for that, and, and also a little pupil in the eye, of course, but yeah. But as for the arms of which, it was the first time I've seen uh, the five long armor pieces, but in blue, or translucent blue, great to use for mocking, and also, but also, these kind of pieces, but also these add-on pieces, which you probably see in Frost Beast from uh, Brain Attack Wave 2, <coughs> but in dark red, mostly acting as like large scuffs of fur, of course. And as for the lower arms, which are mostly taken up by the uh, Sash Planet paw pieces and also with Exoforce robot arms as fingers and also uh, spike marks as claws on them. Although, I think what could have still been workable is like have it on the actual hand part of which. which although, of course, had it had it like this for it to be able to hold the sword piece. And speaking of which, as for the sword pieces, oh, it comprises these those new sword pieces that we've seen on some of the uh, Hero Factory Brain Attack hero sets, but on the, in this case in blue, nice to see used here. But as other armor, which kind of the same kind of stuff going on, but. Also, same exact shield piece as the Captain America build figure set kind of had, but without any printings on it, of course. And also same as a uh, Raka Brain Attacks version. But also, one interesting thing is you can slip light out from there, as it's attached on by a quick fire missile piece. In which, for the back side of which, is an extra uh, CCBS uh, uh, torso armor piece where you can actually slide it right on to for him to store the shield onto. But yeah. That, and I guess that's about it with Laval. And now on to Eris. Which probably the only female of the like uh, main Chima characters, of course. But and also, as you can see, not much of bulk to her, but that's okay because since she's a female and not supposed to be as bulky, but yeah. And as for so starting out with the legs, which have the like traditional uh, Bonkle Paraka feet, but in all black, of course. <coughs> but although, although I think 
for these armor pieces on here. I think the four long length would have been a little bit better, make her less exposed for that. And of course, still using the friction joint pieces on there. And as for this uh, chest plate piece for that, but the upper half, same as for most other figure sets, but upper half, which, which is of course the same as most figure sets, but instead has some lines going through it, probably representing uh, feathers on her, or I mean, or rather slits of armoring, and also her uh, cheat crystal on there, of course. But as for the arms of which, as you can see, comprised of, of three long armor pieces, but in both white and translucent blue. First time seeing in that color. Great for to use for mocking again, of course. And as for the other armor, which is which wielding her main weapon, which is of course a chi axe here. Which comprises of mainly a few different technic uh, rods and a few bits to there, but also these little uh, uh, axe blade kind of pieces. But however, right for her, which are in blue, but also do come in razor in red, of course. But however, the main building of which done quite building of it done quite good for how it is. Although I think some gold on it could have worked out, but yeah. And as for the headpiece, which oh, it's quite eagle-like since Eris is an eagle, of course. And whereas for the sculpting for feathers and the beak, which done quite well, and for the uh, visor crown also quite workable, of course, with the blue eyes in it. And as for these wings right here. And also to keep in mind that Chima was the first theme to ever use uh, these wing pieces, which most likely carry on to other themes afterwards. But although these wings are kind of provided with a lot of CCBS bone pieces on there, but although two for the following year used uh, Technic rods and things, but at least this, these wings are still fair and workable. And of course, as you see, quite a lot of exposure on the back side, but although I think all you could modify her with some extra armor pieces on the back, of course. And I guess that is about it with Eris. And now on to Gorzam. Which, from first glance, kind of looks, kind of feels almost like uh, the Hulk from the Bill of Figure sets the year prior, of course, but at least kind of modeled a little bit differently, but yeah. So, like, for the legs of which, which are kind of the same as the Hulk's, but for the uh, limb pieces there, which are actually a lot shorter rather than a little bit extended. But although, as for the feet and armor here, not sure why in Gummel Gray, when I think it would be better in black, of course. And as for the chest plate pieces, or the chest plate piece, which is in Gummel Gray for that, but also the upper half of which. Just the same as in some other large figure sets, but in gold, nice to see here. But also, what's kind of unique amongst the other uh, Chima figures of this wave is that these markings are actually print, or I mean stickers on there. Same case with like Stormer XL in Hero Factory, and also uh, Onua, Master of Earth, and Umarak the Destroyer, which were in Bonacle 2015-16, Generation 2, also kind of did that, but yeah. But, so now, as for the arms of which, 
same exact kind of build as we had with Laval, and also with what we also have with uh, Boras, but instead has extra long armor pieces since, of course, gorillas have extra long arms of which, and also not at all any claws on these uh, fingertips here. Now, the support piece is front leading up to a mace that is comprised of the same exact uh, mace pieces as we had with Black Phantom from the year of our Hero Factory the year prior, but instead comprised. But the mace pieces may have both gold and translucent blue, of which both of which are nice to use for mocking. And of course for the other arm of which uh, nothing at all. So as for the head, which of course very gorilla-like, of course, and and of course do have some nice sculpting for the mouth and fangs, and also for the eyes and the crown mask, of course. But for the backside, which quite hollow for that, that kind of like we had with the others, of course. <coughs> and this here is his backside, which. Which does have some armoring going on to that, but also some technic bits going on for that. But also he which only wanted the whole series of this line to use a extra long uh, torso piece for that. And like we had with the Hulk and last year prior and yeah. And also a couple extra uh, three long armor pieces above probably right acting as shoulder plates of course as for the rest of the build of which which has the glatorian neck pieces to work on that but yeah and so now on to the final verdict I think these are which are kind of cool sets for well for the time and a little bit as well now but like you get plenty of good uh recolors of pieces like for the swords and the uh icicle fur add-on bits and of course Eris does provide a lot of the like wing pieces in both white and gold so of course but also these which kind of fair deals for how they were of like since they were probably like fifteen doll since they which fifteen dollars each at the time. But at least they were also worked out as good parts packs regardless if it's Chima or not. But yeah. And of course, but also they they do all their bits of which do kind of will capture their minifigure appearances. That came in most of the other sets, of course. Well, although I think Laval and Eris probably do the most, but yeah. And also, and what else is left? Well, probably about it with that, but yeah. And so if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.